What's up everybody, Catch 7 and yes, I'm back and it feels so great to be back. Anyway, kicking it off with some top lizard gameplay and I became top lizard for two reasons. One, I believe he's a very strong and underrated character. And you guys know me, I love playing underrated characters. I became top Hellember, top cowboy. I was going after first officer before I left too, by the way. And the other reason why I became top lizard was because of you, Hokage, because of you. She was like, great little conversation, going back and forth, having fun. She was like, you're only top 39th lizard? That's not even a real badge. Okay, she doesn't sound like that, by the way. She does not sound like that. I'm just being an asshole. <laughs> anyway, um, hit this mech. Now, what I love about lizard is his ability to cut people off. His jumps um, close the gaps between me and survivors, um, cutting them off from um, kiting areas. Now, she tried going to the... Um, infinite loop i like to call that right side infinite loop by the window you just keep looping it you know but um put this on um, mech down on this chair now it's gonna be the forward to come now i like showing you guys my gameplay because it shows my game sense and mindset so i know the forward is gonna have to stun me to save so i hide him between this pallet why do i do that because now i know he's gonna go for a stun i'm just waiting for him to stun so i can move out the way like this you gonna stun ready and now, I move out the way. He hits something. Now, he just wasted his stun. He has to go for a save because it's about to be past half. Slam. And then he's going to try and save. He tries dashing forward and smack. Now, I made the forward fail his save. Now, it's going to have to be the mercenary who's going to have to come for the rescue. Waiting for tonight to pop up. There it is. So, now I know that the mercenary is coming. Now, this mercenary does not want this mechanic to die. <laughs> Excuse me. Here comes the mechanic. Mercenary, sorry. Smack. He don't want to get terror shocked. Very smart. But at the cost, mercenary will go down. I blink forward so the mechanic doesn't reach the pallet because I'm not trying to waste any more time. Now, she rotates the graveyard, trying to get away from the forward. So very smart on the mechanic's part. Now, the forward is going to be on my butt. Now, here comes the forward. One, two, three. Three, triple jump and slam. That's what I love about the lizard. He can cut you off and just have a lot of fun. I love having fun with characters. You know, like characters that really interact is something that I love. Like cowboy or lizard, like st fun stuff, you know? And I utilize it to the point where it's deadly. You know, I use um, top lizard in ranks. I was like, what, top 12 hunter, whatever. Top 12, so somewhere between 15 and 10. Anyway, that was before I left. Here comes this prospector. He's gonna go for the save. Mercenary's down somewhere. And they're at four ciphers. Um, stun. Good stun on the prospector. I, oh, this is where I messed up. This is actually a voiceover, so I don't remember much of this. But I messed up. I know I tried dash to the right and try to do something crafty, but I messed up. Walk right through the pallet. He didn't expect it. Snack. Uh, follow the blood trail, hop right over. Now, I stopped here. I didn't keep jumping because I wasn't sure if he's going to go right or left. So I stopped right there just to um, see where he was headed and uh, put him back on the chair. And at this point, they're at four ciphers. Um, it's going to have to be the prospector to save again. Yeah, prospector is going to come save. Now I'm doing my little thing behind the pallet. He's going to have to throw a magnet to actually uh, do something to me. And I really love Lizard. I believe he's strongly underrated. He can be used. Smack. Go for the save. Terror Shock. Now, it's either the... Now, I'm going to put the um, Prospector on the chair. I'm waiting for Mercenary if he's going to come, if anything. But I guess not. Pick up Prospector. Take him to a chair. I see the Cypher wobbling down there. And I really hope you guys enjoy me playing underrated characters. Um, I know the, um, there's a new hunter that's out. There's a lot I missed. Blackjack and whatnot. Um, but I really hope I get to interact with the community again. I have potato internet. <laughs> so, um, yeah, this is basically the end of the game. Um, mechanic, not mechanic, mercenary. I keep calling the mechanic. So, go for the save. Now, what I love about Lizard, like I said before, is cutting people off. Closing the gap in between people. Jump, jump, and jump. Hello. And I'm just gonna go over here and, oh, nice. And put you back on a chair. 
Now, there are three ciphers done. That means the dungeon is somewhere. Put you on a chair. Alright. So, instead of going after the mercenary's location, I went to go look for the dungeon. See if it's over here. Now, I didn't... No, I don't think it's there. I went to go check over here, and it happened to be over here. Because I was going to check here, and then mercenary has to come over here to get to the dungeon. Now, Mercenary knows that it's not over there because that's the direction she was headed. He. I just said she because it's Tiffany. Anyway. Um, Mercenary is going to try and head to the dungeon. I got to get a splat and then a hit. I got to try at least. One, two, and boom. I ended up getting a hit, but it didn't work in my favor because she got a speed boost. And that's the end of the commentary. I'm Castle 7 and I'll catch you guys later. Peace.